Hey, Julius, was I awesome or what? I was awesome, wasn't I? <laughs> Just as awesome as always. I had front row seats to you getting your ass kicked. Truly, it was an excellent performance, Romeo. You have progressed farther than I ever imagined you might. See, Gil? Julius gets me. It's all about mastering the art of magical <laughs> combat. I don't think you're listening. <laughs> it's always really amazing to hear you laugh, Libby. You've been super smiley lately. <laughs> I love it. I... I have? She's right. <laughs> You seem much different than the girl with the hard eyes that we once met. You seem happy. Did something else change for you, Livy? No, well, not really. Although... I'll tell you if you like. Corporal Libby, I'm glad to see you up and about. Thank you, Director. My convalescence is progressing quickly. I'll return to Fenrir Intelligence as soon as I'm able. I am afraid that won't be possible. No, what do you mean? I've been instructed to discharge you from service, effective immediately. <sighs> With your armlet lost, you've returned to a human state. Every examination has rendered the same results. You can no longer wield other soldiers' god arcs. And as you can no longer execute those who have fallen to the infection, you are hereby released from your oaths. Your life is yours now, to do with as you see fit. You're free, Livy. Thank you for all you've done for Fenrir Intelligence. If you want, you can simply live as a human. You can reinvent yourself in any way you wish, live any life. Think of it, Livy. A future that's yours. A future that's... mine? If that's true, Director, I... I believe I already know what I'd like to do. I have friends now. I want to serve with them. <laughs> I thought as much, and I'm damn proud to hear it. Since Julius's return, we've taken great strides with the P66 bias factor, the same one used by your friends in Blood Special Forces. The improved factor has already been administered to the others. I'm happy to say they have picked up their arcs once more. If you're ready, there's a chance this can restore your strength. You won't be able to wield any arc, but you can certainly hold your own. long hoped that one day I could truly fight beside you and now that wish has come true I can use this god arc my god arc to protect this world and the people I care about and that that fills me with joy Faring, Livy. Have you been getting along with the blood unit? Yes, very well, in fact. Everyone in the Far East branch has been exceedingly kind. I'm glad. The first time on a path that you yourself have chosen, I have full faith in you. We'll be leaving for our headquarters soon. Captain, I leave Livy in your care. 
remember, I think of her as my own daughter. I assure you I will be keeping watch. Well, I must depart. Headquarters demands news on your managing of the sacred ground. I shall allay their fears. Director Feldman, thank you. Thank you for everything. Know that I expect truly great things of you, Livy. Sheil, are you all right? Yes, I'm fine, Livy. Cappy merely nipped me. He bit you? Here, may I see it? Oh, thank goodness, it's not a deep wound. Hmm, although your sleeve was torn a little. If you bring it to me later, I'd be glad to mend it for you. He was likely just angling for more attention. I'll be sure to speak to him about this. Livy's really starting to feel like a member of the team, huh? She's kind of like a big sister to everyone in blood. Oh, Captain, did I tell you how Livy scolded Gil and Romeo after that last mission where they got all scratched up? They were all, we're boys, so we're tough, we'll be fine. And Livy was all, um, no, it'll totally get infected. She chased them around with soap and water. The looks on their faces were priceless! I wish you'd gotten to see it, Captain. <laughs> oh, that sounds like fun! Oh, Captain, your collar is rather frayed. I'll be making good use of my sewing kit. Bring it to me later, and I'll fix it right up. <laughs> 